Hey guys, welcome back to Yokai Watch Wibble Wobble, and today we're going after another legendary yokai after many, many, many days of grinding. Probably two plus months. It's finally time to get our next legendary yokai. Now, this legendary took us so long to get, guys, but now is finally the day. Because, well, mostly we got Swell Terrier. Now, the last one we got was Gilgaros. He's pretty cool, but not really too effective. We're still missing one, but you know what? That's fine. We're soon going to have them all because this yokai changes everything. Once we get this guy on our team and get him going, oh my gosh, he's going to be a complete monster. But just in case you don't have this yokai yet, here's how you get him. The first yokai you're going to need to unlock this legendary is Blazion of the Brave Tribe, which can be farmed easily on stage 171 in the yokai world. If you somehow don't have him already. The next yokai you're going to need to recruit is the bad tempered Zerb Burker, who can be found in the sewers of Breezy Hills. Be warned, this one will probably take you a while to recruit, as he's really, really not that fond of being your friend. The next two yokai are a tiny bit different, as they are a rare encounter in certain stages. Lava Lord can be found as early as downtown Springdale on stage 67. However, his chance of appearing is very low, so just keep trying till you get him. And just like Lava Lord, Tunatic can only be found rarely in stage 131 and 133 respectively. Also, by now, you should have Tublapa because he's really easy to get and he's really early on in the game, which means he's really easy to recruit, so... I don't really know what I'm telling you this, but hey, here he is. And last but not least, the most elusive yokai to obtain is Swell Terrier. This little guy has taken me an incredibly long time to acquire because he can only be obtained from the Krankakai machine, which can take you a really long time or a really short time. It could be the last Krankakai thing you ever get or your first. It's 100% random, but once you have him, you're almost ready to get the strongest legendary yokai. Now that we've gone over how to obtain the six yokai needed to unlock this legendary, honestly, I cannot wait anymore. I've been waiting so long for this. Let's unlock the next legendary yokai. Oh man, the symbols are glowing. Summoning legendary. Yes, one of my favorite yokai of all time. I'm Komashura. We're friends now. Heck yes, we are. Komashura of the Mysterious Tribe and I are now friends. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, in my opinion, this is without a doubt one of the strongest yokai in the game because it can potentially get you near unparalleled amounts of Y money, as we will see very soon. Basically, what I plan to do with this guy is I plan to make a farming team. Now, you're going to notice. His attack stat isn't really much compared to Shogunyun, who is currently my strongest legendary. However, once we start feeding him soul secrets and getting up his soul ultimate level, my gosh, he's going to be a complete monster. Shura Shower functions identically to Liberty Yon, Chilwawa, Swell Terrier, in the fact that they attack multiple areas. This combined with the fact that it's just a really, really hard-hitting yokai, given the fact that it's a legendary. It can be used to get some insane Y money incredibly quickly if we get the last legendary yokai, which we'll be going over hopefully very soon. But yes, once you get this guy, if you use a certain technique, you can get really amazing amounts of Y money. I'm so happy to have him. The legendary yokai comes on. Wait. A legendary Komasan with the heart of a great demon. He scorches his foes with eternal flame. Oh my gosh. A, a, a demon? Holy crap, that's actually kind of awesome. But uh, let's um assemble a team I think will work good for him. You know, let's put his, uh, you know, his Komasan in. They gotta have him. This is by no means my farming team yet, but I'm, I'm just messing with some stuff. You know what? Hey, that could work. We'll go with a full, uh, or not a near full mysterious team, I guess. And... Nah, Zero can stay. He's pretty darn good. So let's check out this yokai in action. And all right, let's get it. So the idea here is I'm going to get as many Komashura as we can and see how fast I can beat Slimander. Usually I like to draw things out and kind of, you know, just make it go on for a little while. But no, this time I'm just going to burst him down as quickly as I can. I don't see a lot of Komashura. And admittedly, Komasan and Komashura kind of blend in together. It makes perfect sense given 
I think they're distant relatives, or just totally relatives, kind of like Shogunyan and, well, Jabanyan, and okay. I'm gonna target that eye and pop that, okay. Come on, the Shura Shower. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna do a ton of damage, but I guess we'll see. Um, Let's actually get this going too. Maybe that can increase some of the size of our yokai. And then we'll just pop all those. You know what, whatever. I'm going for it, the Shura Shower, bada bing. That damage is insane. And that is only Sultimate rank one, dude. And I don't think we've ever seen a uh, Komasan S's uh Sultimate yet. I actually got this for doing the um What was it? How did I get him? Oh my gosh, that's gonna drive me crazy. I got him from doing the uh Oh my gosh, I can't the rank. Yeah, I did the uh, rank battle. But basically, you pop him, pop these old orbs, they do a bunch of burst damage. Pretty darn cool if I do say so myself. No, I didn't want to get fever time, but I guess we're getting it anyways. Ton of thunder. Pretty cool. Makes giant wibbobs. I definitely need to grind up more Signaton because for the team I'm going to be building, he works wonderfully because there aren't really that many power boosters yet, sadly. But yeah, that is Komashura. Pretty darn strong. And I recommend it. Oh, we didn't get anything, but <laughs> I'm filming this during the uh, boss recruitment event, but that's eh, okay. Currently, this is, team is still a giant work in progress, and I like the fact that he has his, uh, his signature pose from Yokai Watch. I like that a lot. His eyebrows are going crazy. People don't like Komashura because of his sideburns, and honestly, dude, that's why I like Komashura. He's not afraid to let his hair grow. I'm just joking around. Anyways, the main attraction here is Massive Face. So for those who don't know, Massive Face is a very unique boss, and the fact that there are three points on him in which you can damage the opponent. And it looks like people on my friends list are already well versed in this technique because their scores are insane. But basically, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making a team completely around Komashura and farming in this stage. I plan to have a video on this. Eventually, I'm kind of <laughs> swamped with videos to make at the moment. But you know what? Once I get my setup going and once I start powering up my Komashura, I'm basically gonna break the game and have infinite money, which is gonna be pretty cool. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Best of luck, I hope you can find Swell Terrier. Since the game is came out, it's taken me like, oh my gosh, I think it, it came out in May and it's taken me this long just to get one yokai, but whatever, we got him now. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye.